Hey ladies, Shay Nish here. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Shay Love Hair. Today we're gonna to be reviewing one of my previous installations. It's made by Innocence. The line is called Easy Crochet and the curl name is Brazilian Body Wave. So let's just hop right into the video. I was supposed to be filming at like 10 o'clock today, 10 o'clock AM. That was supposed to be my beginning record time. It is now 1.51. I don't even know if you can see that or not. Whatever. Everything that can happen has happened today, okay? Like, I just can't catch a break. I, I don't know. Anyway, so if you're new to my channel, you guys, like, don't take today's energy, okay? I'm a pretty laid-back girl, but today, I don't have it, you know? And I wish that I could just maybe not record today and save it for another day, but if I don't record this video today, then I'm gonna be stuck with this hair in my head for a whole nother week before I have another chance to record. So, I want to take it out. I want to take it out. I want to take it out now. And so, therefore, I got to bring y'all the tea now. I, let, I got to let y'all see what's going on with it and all that good stuff. So, let's just talk about it. Let me show you the stock card. Okay. So, when I initially installed this hair, I was in love. I love, love, love the hair. Okay. After installation, I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? I could really do a series on this brand, you know, like try all their different curl patterns and stuff because the hair was just gorgeous. And I was intrigued, you know, and was hoping for the absolute best. So I recorded a, I guess, introduction series video I guess is what you would say <laughs> an introduction video to the series um that I had planned to do for this particular brand however things have changed uh so I want you guys to see the hair in the beginning um of course you know what let me stop here if you have not watched the installation video Go do that now. I'll link it in the description box. I'll also have it as a suggested video. I think it's up and usually be up in this corner, but it might be in that one. You know, I don't know. It's somewhere in the top. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so go check that out because we're going to be referring a lot to that video and I want you to know what I'm talking about. So go watch the video and then come back. Okay. Okay. So we're prepped now, right? We're gonna watch the installation video and now we're gonna get into the here and the now. The here and the now is two weeks later since the install of that hair. On the series introduction video, which you'll never really see that video because I'm gonna scratch it. <laughs> so, but anyway, on that, I was saying that I was going to try to wear this hair for about four to six weeks. Um, you know, I wanted to do a refresh video. I wanted to do a lot of different stuff with this hair since there's not any videos out for this particular curl pattern for this hair brand. Cha. Mm -mm -mm. It, it, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work out. It, it ain't gonna work out. I don't, I can't. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> so the initial installation, let me talk about my mistakes there, okay? Um, I use the hairspray method to secure the knots. It worked initially. It did work. However, this hair does not lock on its own. Like the hairspray method is a temporary locking method. Let me explain that. The hairspray method is only for hair that you know is gonna knot on its own, like eventually. You know, all crochet hair, well, 
can't say all because this hair didn't do it. But a majority of crochet hair will eventually like start to frizz at the knot and they'll kind of lock together. The hairspray method holds the knot together until the hair does that, right? Um, but that didn't happen with this hair, you know, and the hairspray wore out. Therefore, it started slipping. So, if you're going to take a chance on this hair, you're going to have to use the, um, I guess, what you call the double knot method. Uh, if you need more information on that, I have a video on how to secure your knots. Go check that video out. I'll put that in the description box as well. Put it in the suggested videos as well. So um, just check that out. But the double knot is like when you take a little bit of hair from one leg and another and another little strand from the other leg and you tie those together to create a, a tiny microscopic knot underneath the actual crochet knot, if that makes sense, you know? So for like, I want to say about three or four days, it was okay. Like there really wasn't any slippage. But after like the fifth day, it started slipping. Like the knots were just sliding everywhere. The invisible part method, the knot, the knotless method or whatever that I did in my parts, like it all, it all was, it was slipping away. After the first week, the end started to get a little, um, what's the word for it, you guys? Like, I don't want to say it was matting. It was just rough. You know how when hair does mat and you brush it out, it, it's like rough. It doesn't ne necessarily go back to its original texture. It's like this rough texture. The hair was like that and it wasn't matting. It's just how it was developing. I don't know. I don't know why, um, but it did. So by like day eight, I was completely over the hair. I started putting it in ponytails and putting like um, hair pins like to like smooth it down and smooth like how the knots were just all over the place. I would just like take a, a um, bobby pin and just like put in my hair to just try to make it look somewhat decent. So like I said, I put it in the Saturday before last. So this is the official two week mark on this hair. The installation I used four packs. I bought six. I used four. Um, shower caps, I did not use. Um, but I had it in a bun. Um, so it really, it really didn't get wet. I mean, other than a little bit. Now we had a lot of rain over the past couple weeks and I rarely use umbrellas. <laughs> So it did get wet and that could have been why that, that could have been a factor as to why the texture changed. But um as far as the knots, no, like uh it's tragic. Y'all gonna see in a minute. I'm not gonna leave this hand upon the tail. I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna try to refresh it as best I can so that you guys can see, you know, what I'm working with and see if y'all wanna deal with that or not. Um, but I'm just trying to get everything that I can think of out of the way that you guys might want to know. If I miss something, y'all know, put it in the comments and I will answer them just as soon as I can. As usual, I did not use a bonnet. I put it in a bun. Um, it doesn't itch. It's very lightweight. Uh, it did get a little dull and I used, uh, wig shine. So it smells really good and I'm not allergic to it. So I love it. That's what I use. And um, it did help a lot. Um, it actually helped me calm through it. I think that's about it as far as the review goes. So I'm just going to go ahead, take it down, let y'all see the tragedy um, that is this hair. Let's see. I probably got so many bobby pins in here. Like, I don't even know where they are. Ooh. 
Who? Hmm. Oh God. Okay. It smells good though. This is wig time. Let's see. I'm about to comb this. We'll brush it out. I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to move my wine out the way, child, because I need that. Let me get a section. First, I'm going to brush this section without the wig shine so you can see, like, the difference it does help. Okay, there's one bit. Like the hair is still okay, but the ends are definitely would have to be cut. Okay. Now, if I was to just kind of throw this hair about and lay down my edges, you know, it'll probably be straight because, you know, you can pretty much hide a majority of the knots, right? And this spray, because the hair, it feels rough, but then when you put the wig shine stuff on it, it really takes away a lot of the roughness. So that does help like a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like, let me turn this over and see what the hell in here a lot, you know? But I mean, I'm still gonna take it out. Hair from a distance is fine. Except for these ends, like I would definitely cut it. But the knots, the knots are not cute. Like, they slipping so bad. The hair is gorgeous. It really is. It makes me wonder that, you know, if you do the double knot method to secure it and not the hairspray method, you know, how much that would have changed my experience with this hair. Because, I mean, yes, it gets rough, but this wig shine helps with that a lot. Um... It does get tangled pretty fast. So it's like one of those things that you have to bring a brush with you wherever you go because you need it. Like midday at work, three or four times <laughs> a day, you're going to have to brush it. Um, 
But other than that, I feel like it might have been okay because like there's really no frizz. You see that? There's really no frizz. So I don't know. Like I gave up because <laughs> the knots look so bad. Uh, and put it in a ponytail. But and y'all, I was getting ready to really dye this hair because I was over it, right? And I was in a bad mood, but now this whining kicked in and I feel a little bit more at peace. You feel me? But um the actual hair though with this wig shine. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm looking at y'all. I'm looking at myself because I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. Um, hmm. What y'all think? I like the hair. I like the hair. I just don't like how I installed it. Now, these stiff ends, that would have to go. Uh, you see that? You see? That, that would have to go. Definitely. But. And see. And that's the thing. Um, my knots need to be so secure. Because I like to flip my hair around. I like for it to be different ways. Like I I don't know. Within the day. you know, <laughs> When you're doing like. You know. Grown people stuff. You know what I'm saying. Like just. You want to be able to get it, you know, flipped and tossed and pulled on. I need a little bit more flexibility. So, all right. So I guess for me, I would give this hair out of 10, I would give it a five, a five. And the five is surely based off of the fact that the hair is beautiful. The install was not easy, and I didn't even do it the hard way. <laughs> so, yeah. But once you get it installed, installed correctly, which, you know, don't play in nothing the rest of that day. But once you get it installed correctly, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Not at all. Okay. Well. All right. So, you guys, I actually hit yesterday 3.5. I am so excited. I went down through my timeline and I looked and I had um like 400, I think 417, I think, or something like that. It was like around 400 February last year. So... Yesterday was leap day, right? And so the last day in February, um, yesterday I had 3.5. So that's, that's amazing. I don't even, I don't even know. Like I, I don't even know, but I love y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with me, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. Y'all go check out my other videos if you haven't already. And if you're new, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow up with that notification bell so you won't miss out on any more videos. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and blessings.